Hello everyone, I'm Maria Lucina Dominguez Martin, the first author of this work that has been done between two universities. One was the University of Cordoba in Spain and the other one was the University of Liverpool, United Kingdom, with the aim to integrate the data that we can obtain through the proteomics and the physiological data in Procaracalcus marinus SL120. Prochlorococcus is the most abundant photosynthetic organism on Earth and it contributes really significantly to the global primary production. In this study we analyzed the effect of the atacerin which is an inhibitor of the glutamate synthase on the protein of Prochlorococcus SS120. We were able to identify 1072 proteins that correspond with 57% of the protein. That means that we were able to obtain the maximum coverage of any of the protein of any strain of Prochlorococcus described today. We also detect significant change after this treatment. We identified that most of the protein were not regulated, 408 proteins, after eight hours of this treatment. So the three main findings that we can conclude for this work is that when Prochlorococcus has a situation where there is no nitrogen in the media, they upregulate the proteins that are related with assimilation of nitrogen, like could be transporters. Also, Prochlorococcus can regulate the proteins related with their ribosome and upregulate or induce the photosystem to cyclic electron flow. That means that the response is much wider than we initially believed. And what that we can conclude is when Prochlorococcus has a situation when there is no nitrogen in the media, what they do is like try to save nitrogen and also induce the uptake of these to the cell.